In most towns, the center of attention is usually around the local bar or the sports field. Here in Hagersville, the center of attention right now today, folks, is in the lawn bowling area, which has the nicest grass in town. We're going to talk about the grass a little bit later on, but I want to talk with the, the president of the club here, Alice Petherum, and just a, a little bit about uh, lawn bowling because it's a sport that's, that people are going to start looking at, I think, because they're going to want to start being active, they're going to want to get outside, uh, be around people again. So tell us a little bit about this sport. Yeah, so the sport of lawn bowling in Hagersville has been here since 1904. Um, we have roughly 25 members currently in this club and uh, we play on the greens weekly. Uh, we're right now two nights a week. We're looking to expand. Um, have some new members coming out, so we're also looking for members as well. Um, we play on the greens in teams of four, but you can also play singles um, or triples, and we play games roughly 10 ends. And it's a, it's a very, it's not an expensive sport, I would think. No, not expensive at all. We have a basic membership fee, and then uh, for new members, we also charge a lawn bowling fee to we have bowls here that you can borrow for the season, and uh, but re very relatively inexpensive. And of course, uh, coming out of, uh, hopefully we're coming out of the, the pandemic, and all, every question uh, sorry, goes that way with everything these days. How has the club survived through it all? Yeah, so we, we had a difficult season last year, a delayed start, but we did get going uh, both, se both last season and this season. We're both running, up and running again. Um, now with the new stage of reopening, we've expanded, um, so we can have now 25 people on the greens at one time. Uh, so we just have people come and sign up that they're going to come to play, and uh, then we get going. Okay, so we're going to dive deep into the sport over the next uh, three segments after this one. But what I want to do when we come back, folks, is talk about this grass because, again, it's, a, it's a, a labor of love for some people here to keep this in fine tune because, like the ice maker in hockey, you got to have a good groundskeeper in lawn bowling. Exactly. So we'll be back a little bit later on to talk about that and a little bit more about the sport of lawn bowling. All right, we're back here at the... Hagersville Lawn Bowling Club, and I want to introduce you to the most loved and most despised person here, Glenn Killen, who is the groundskeeper. Now, how did you get to be the groundskeeper? Like I said, I went to the washroom, when I come back, I was elected to the job. So. <laughs> but we do have three or four or five people that help really, really well. Tom, he's in Port Dover. He couldn't make it this morning because he's my, I call him my apprentice. He is so eager to learn, and he just go, go, goes. And That's that's cool. Okay, let's tell us a little bit about what are the secrets of having such a nice lawn like this? Well, everybody thinks you just come out and cut it every night, but cutting is probably a quarter of what it is. And so you have to, like we start our season in the middle of May. So the first of April, the middle of April, we got to be out dethatching it, cutting it, because it's probably a quarter inch long. Mm -hmm. And by the first middle of May, we want to get it down to five thirty seconds or four millimeters. Now, lawn bowling is often compared to bocce and, and to curling. Curling, curling, and I've got to ask you about that because in curling, some curling rinks uh, would never admit to it, but they sort of shave things to to favor the home side. Does that happen in in lawn bowling as well? No, we just try to get it as flat because. And it's a lot easier to smooth up ice than it is grass because basically once a year, and we haven't been doing it over COVID, is you aerate and then you put sand down and smooth it down. And also this thatching, I call it, but it's verticutting, cuts lines in the grass and that smooths it. So we never, people think you roll it, you never roll the grass. I never roll the grass no. because that just compacts it, but cutting it one way then the other way, it takes out the bumps and yeah, so it's that. It nice about, and then no one com complains too much, right? Right, yeah. And but then, they may do that anyway. All right, what I want you to do is show me. We, I want to, in the next segment, we're going to talk a bit about how, the technique of lawn bowling. But you want to show me how you do this? And maybe how maybe you I cut the go. grass? How you cut the grass? I've cut grass for years. You can cut can it. Can I try this? Yes. All right. So we'll set her up for you. So as we finish up here, we're going to cut the grass. And when we come back, we're going to do some lawn bowling. So push this forward, push that forward, and wait a minute. Push that forward, squeeze that down, and 
Try to go straight. This bowl, it's not a ball, it's a bowl, has a weighted side, light side and heavier side. And I didn't even know this, the bowl isn't even round. That's why they don't call it a ball. Is that why they don't call it a ball, Dave? Quite possibly, quite possibly. I'm this is Dave, he's gonna give us some instructions here. I'll give you my best shot. So tell me a bit about the technique of this because again, curling has been, a lot of people say, well, it's like curling or a lot of people, some of your people here who have played bocce before, it's kind of the same. There's similarities in both. Uh, in uh, the game that we typically play, it's uh, two teams of two people, one being the lead and one being the skip. Leads throw first, skips throw second. In relationship to bocce, we throw a little white ball and in, in uh, lawn bowling it's called a jack, okay? And the object of the game uh -huh. is to be the closest with your bowl to the jack. Okay, so okay? throw that in, let's, let's, see, throw the jack. let's see who's closer, you or me. Okay, Glenn. All right, so that's the ball we want to throw to. Now, if you see out there, we have pictures of two pigs. That's called the hog line. And the bowl has to pass, the jack has to pass the hog line. Uh -huh. And we're going to line it up. Perfect. Thank okay. you. Okay. All right, then. So I got the weighted end, or the less weighted end on the inside, like you told me. Okay. And I'm, so I'll let you throw first. Okay. And I'll so, come to match, so we're going to type, type, do the same type of throw. Okay. So the lighter end, it's going to make the ball curve this way. All right. Okay. So it's going to curve in. So to to we're going to aim to where Glenn is there. Yep. And that will bring the bowl in towards the jack. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me give it a shot. Now it's supposed to curve. It's supposed to curve. Oh, a little a hard, a little heavy, a little, little heavy. heavy. Little heavy. Oh. Stayed up there. Okay. Now you have quite the technique here. I don't know if I got that down pat like you do. I don't know. No. So which hand do you shoot with, right or left? Left. You lefty? Okay. So I'll go like this. Here we go. Oh dear. Oh, a little harder. But you'll see. Get past that hog line. Go, go, go. Oh. Man. <laughs> no. So. As you can see, there's a little bit more to it than meets the eye. So there's practice, but it's, it's again, it's the kind of sport that you don't need to be an expert to have fun at. Exactly. We all get together. We have a social time after we finish playing our games. We meet in the clubhouse for coffee, tea, refreshments, nibblies after each of the nights that we play. So you know what? It's a great way to meet people. It's a good way to have fun, and nobody takes it too seriously here. That is a good thing. Okay, when we come back, our final segment, we're going to talk to the president again a little bit about uh, how to get involved in lawn bowling if you're in Hagersville here, if not in your own community. Ooh, close. We're back in Hagersville at the Lawn Bowling Club here in the center of town. and. Uh, Alice, the president, is back with us again just to talk a little bit about the sport. And again, it's one of those sports that, that you, that people don't think about too much, uh, but you can travel the world. You could, yeah. If you wanted to, you could travel the world playing this sport. Um, and there's lots of, hopefully, uh, now that things are starting to open back up, um, clubs, tournaments locally, provincially, you can play on a national team and uh, travel the world if you And you were saying to. that there are professional lawn bowlers Australia, so there's a couple Canadians over in Australia playing right now that, uh, yep, play full time. That's kind of cool. Now, as far as your club is concerned, now that things are opening up a little bit more, more people can get involved. How can people talk to you, find out what's going on? How can they join? Because it is a, a great social sport, and right now, more than anything almost, we need social. That's right, yeah. We need people out to play. Um, we do have a active Facebook page. It's the best way to contact us right now. So if you just look up Hagersville Lawn Bowling Club on Facebook, um, you can get a hold of us, send us a message, and uh, we'll get you hooked up on how to get out here and get rolling some bowls. All right, and it's going to be a little bit more fun, I guess, now that you can open up a bit more. Is that the, is that the yeah, case? Yeah, so we play Jitneys, which is just a game each night, and uh, we'll play two games. Um, and new members will play with people that are a little bit more experienced just to, so they can help learn the game. 
and then we have some refreshments after to just uh, meet everybody else and talk and uh, get to know, spend some time together and socially. Um, well, that's good. Yeah. We'll have a great rest of the season. I know it started in May, but to get it to finish up the season now. Yeah. And also, good luck with your next endeavor, yes, too, thank which we you. didn't have time to talk about too much. Is this your first? It is, yes. Well, yeah. congratulations. Thank Boy you. or girl yet? Surprise. 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 And you got names picked? Yeah, we're ready. Okay, that's good. And you're going to have your baby when? Uh, end of July. Okay. Good luck with that, and good luck with the, with the club and everybody else who wants to join. So again, uh, check out your local area. If you're not in Hagersville, check out your local community. There's probably a lawn bowling club there.